Hi, I'd like to do a, t a video on a technology that's interested me for quite some time, but I just didn't really know where to start. So I'll try to make this as, as quick as I can, but it isn't often when I come across some courses that I've, that I've taken that I was really thoroughly, I mean, enjoyed the course so much that I really wanted to do a review of it. Um, I know I did uh, another accolade on a, a course in Embraco. Uh, because we're using that at the workplace and all that. But my background basically is I'm a web developer and I, I've done systems programming in the past and Unix-based systems, uh, network sockets, uh, dialer, predictive dialer, that kind of stuff. But in recent years, uh, the past many years, I should say, I've been doing a lot of uh, development in the .NET environment uh, a full stack developer doing a lot with um, Angular, re, you know, some with React, uh, ASP.NET Core, uh, you know, and just ASP.NET in general, Web API, things of that nature. So the reason I say that is having this, uh, a lot of this .NET experience in recent years, Let's Encrypt uh, basically is, uh, shall we say, a lot of people may associate that with Linux and or Ubuntu or Unix-based systems and servers, which I haven't done all that much in recent, you know, in the last uh, last couple of years. In, but um, so having said that, I thought initially, you know, trying to learn Let's Encrypt would be a challenge. Well, first of all, Let's Encrypt uh, isn't really 100% tied to Unix-based systems. And when I say that, I'm talking, you know, the umbrella Linux, Ubuntu, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, my understanding is you can get it to work with Windows, uh, and that's something I'm going to pursue on my own time. But so... Anybody who's interested in learning Let's Encrypt, uh, I'd like to steer them to a course that I can't recommend enough. Uh, there's a lot out there on Let's Encrypt that is very disconnected. There's documentation, but uh, some of it doesn't really pull it all together, and it, it's, it's kind of confusing here and there, but it's really worth learning. So Let's Encrypt basically, as you can see here, if you go to Let's Encrypt, Dot org and I'll include a link to it. Uh, it's a it's it's a free 100% shall we say valid certificate authority, just like VeriSign and some of the others. But this is free. Uh, comes with a little bit of a price tag, and that's you know you have to generate your own certificates and uh, you know the process uh, the process does involve some scripting and command line stuff, things of that nature, but. The benefit is it's free, and Let's Encrypt, like I say, uh, there's you can go to their website here, but just so you can see, I was kind of interested in this. If you look at their sponsors, Let's Encrypt is is backed up by some pretty big players, Cisco, Chrome, Mozilla, Facebook. So this is no, shall we say, this is no small actor, if you will. And Let's Encrypt, their major mission, and since they're funded by a lot of these sponsors, their major mission is HTTPS everywhere. So, and that includes, um, you know, folks that have some websites hosted, uh, small sites or whatever, and they just didn't want to go and go through the whole process of getting certificates or paying the money and all that kind of stuff. So right now there's no excuse for that because it's free. So having said that, where is the best place or, you know, I was interested in this technology. Where is the best place for me to learn this? Well, you can find some snippets here and there on YouTube. You may find, you know, some 10 minute videos that kind of gloss over it and stuff, but they don't really bring everything together. Um, you know, there's some other bits and pieces. You can look at this documentation here, but again, um, it's not, you know, some of it's kind of dry and things like that. It's, so if you just want to learn it, uh, I came across this uh, gentleman here. Um, it's Nick Janitakis, and he actually has a course which is called, uh, you know, uh, Let's Encrypt. So, and I'll provide the URL to that. And, um, you know, I can't recommend this enough. So I bought the course and right away, I realized I was in for a treat because he's he's a great teacher. 
you can go to this site here and you can do this preview here, click on it and watch it. But he's a great teacher and he doesn't assume that you have experience in anything pretty much so as far as uh, so the reason I brought up my .NET background in recent years is all these examples and stuff that he shows you will be running on you know a Ubuntu box and so he will walk you through uh, you know he'll create he'll give you a website that's running under nginx uh, and then he also will show you how to uh, generate certificates for that as well as uh, for Apache which I thought was really cool. So the other thing um, that I thought was really good about this course here is, is he gives you a, a good straight to the point understanding of HTTPS and SSL certificates. Um, he talks about SSL ratings and how to generate these, uh, you know, with, with Let's Encrypt. And he kind of, there's some extras in here too, is he walks you through, you know, getting yourself a domain name. So I actually bit the bullet, you know, just for the sake of this course, and I went ahead and got myself a domain name. And he provides you some, you know, some discounts and coupons here. So, you know, you you will get a discount on some of the things. So the domain name that I paid for, I actually went to, uh, um, let's see here, this name silo and registered and bought a domain for $7.99 for a year. And that's what I'm using for this course. But, you know, I probably just, if, if I never use that again for anything else, it was still worth it um, because it was, it was actually a lot of fun. So it's like the cost of a, a dinner at Applebee's, if you will. So he walks you through setting that up. Um, what else does he do? He, he actually, so he has you go and create a Ubuntu box on this cloud service called DigitalOcean, which to be honest with you, I've never heard of before. So I've been doing uh, some work recently with AWS for my employer. And, uh, you know, so I've been kind of in that space. Uh, and I initially was thinking about taking this course and just spinning up some EC2 instances in the cloud on with AWS, but I thought, you know, I'm going to go bite the bullet and create a droplet. So it's what you can see right here and you spin it up and it's, it's basically a, a Unix box. So the other thing that's really cool is Nick actually gives you $10 worth of free credits for digital ocean and basically what that means is you can spin up this box and have it running for two months and not have to pay a dime because it's like five dollars a month and this course you can finish this course in about a half a day so what ends up what basically you won't have to pay a dime for for this digital ocean thing and it's pretty cool so it's got me thinking in, in the future i may if i host some websites and stuff like that I may actually use this service so that's another freebie that you get out of this course and plus you get to learn about digital ocean uh, which I thought was was really interesting as well as your domain name service so I reached out to him and asked him if it was okay to do this uh, kind of like this shall we say accolade because I was so excited that I learned so much from this course so he thought that that was that would be a really nice gesture but to respect his content and things of that nature I can't really show you too much about um, you know about the details of the course I can say if you buy this course um, out of the box what you're looking at right here is I've actually SSH into my digital ocean Unix server and I did an LS in the root directory so through this course, he will actually walk you through each of these shell scripts that he provides to you, which I thought were very useful, very cool. And he will go through them line by line, and he will set you up the process of, uh, you know, starting install Nginx, which is the web server, um, install this demo website that he has provided, how to create your self-signed certificates, which basically are going to be untrusted. So when you create a self-signed certificate and you try to visit your site, you're going to get, um, you know, the little warning that says the certificate, you know, this site is not valid. As a matter of fact, let me show you. So this is his sample website. 
and when you create the solve sign certificate running HTTPS, you know, you've seen this before, you get this not secure. Um, so he, he will, you know, start you with the installation and you, he'll walk you through the steps of generating certificates so that you go from here, basically to here. So if you look right here, you can see, um, I've got the green padlock. So this becomes a valid, at this time, it's a valid Let's Encrypt certificate. And he will actually show you and walk you through the steps there of creating it. And as you can see, the, the certificate authority is Let's Encrypt right there. Um, the other thing I thought was really cool that, that his scripts will actually walk you through is how to create SAN certificates, which allow you to have multiple websites with different subdomains on the same box. So on the same DigitalOcean box here, uh, we actually have two different servers, if you will, um, websites. So you can see we've got this um, this one right here, which is www.tcosic.com. And then there's another one, basic one called Hello World. So um, and when you install that out of the box, you know, you're, that one's going to be, again, using self-signed certificates and all that. So it's going to be insecure. So you've seen this before, you know, that little lock icon, which says, hey, you know, um, this is an untrusted certificate. So it'll go from that to this after. Um, so right here, you can see it's green now. So this is valid. So that was really pretty darn cool. I'm trying to think of some other things that I'd like to offer. Um, you could visit his blog. I've actually found it to be quite useful. Um, I'm kind of going through here. He's a full stack developer. So he's got um, you know, this Docker course that he has here seems to be a, an interesting course. So I'm going to put that on, on my list to dive into Docker. Um, you know, I've taken some other Docker courses before and I'm kind of curious what this one's about because if this one's anything at all like his uh, let's encrypt one then i pretty much know it's going to be a great course so trying to think if there's anything else i can say or add to this um other than the fact that what i might do i mean he's given me enough confidence here with these scripts i might actually start checking into windows and trying to see if i can write an asp.net site and generate some of these scripts on a Windows server using PowerShell and stuff like that. But by and large, again, you know, you will get some shell scripts that he's written. I didn't write these, he wrote these. And he will walk you through the course, uh, line by line through each of these. And in certain, in some of these scripts, you'll actually have to go and replace some of the parameters um, and things of that nature to conform to your own website, if you will. So this was a very exciting course for me because again, it's one of my things as a, uh, as a developer, you write, you know, as a website developer and all that, you know, I kind of write, you kind of write the sites, you deploy it to your dev server using HTTP and then it goes to QA or staging and it's still using HTTP. And then when it comes time to go to production, you hand it over to bunch of other people, system administrators and all that, then they're the ones that usually set up the servers and, uh, and gener get the certificates and install them. So that tends to be a little bit of a black box at times. Um, so if you kind of want to demystify that a little bit, if you're, if you're like me in that area, um, this course will actually walk you through that and, you know, as a developer, um, you're not going to write any code in here, but you're just basically going to uh, go through these scripts and and understand how to generate these certificates. And as a developer, I really enjoyed this. Particularly as a .NET developer, I wasn't at all taken back by, you know, the uh, the shell scripts and things of that nature. Um, although I have to admit, I've I've had experience doing a lot of shell scripting and stuff in a past life when I was predominantly working on Unix and Solaris and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, but up until about, you know, 10 years ago or whatever, I've just been pretty much in the .NET land and Windows land too, back and forth through my career. So anyways, so give this a course a, course a shot. Um, even if you've done nothing but Windows development, don't let this 
Linux based stuff deter you because he will walk you through everything and you'll be very glad that you took it. So uh, I think having said that, I appreciate you listening to this and watching this and I'll include like some links to his courses right here, particularly this one, um, the Let's Encrypt one. So thank you for watching and I hope you will get a lot out of this course if you choose to take it. I know I did. So you guys take care and thank you. Bye.